Hello, hello, my dear hoof hikers. We are back. This is your common explorer. Other half right at the back. And we are out. We're back in England. Took us a while to come back. <laughs> Nearly a month, really. We are in Eastbourne. This. It's going to be a short hike, I think. We've been here before. I will put a link to another video. We've been here in this area, but just on the other side of this hill, behind us, right up there, that is the Long Man of Wilmington. From what I read, no one knows when it was built or who built it. It's about the height of 40 men. And there's, I think, I'll probably get it wrong, but I think there's six of these structures or whatever you want to call it. As always, I never know what things are called, but there's six of them. One is the Long Men of Wilmington. The other one is a horse. I will get the name further in the hike. Hopefully it will pass by this horse get some footage of that and I don't know where the other ones are just started the hike the Sun is out nice long field long man just up there and let's do this packing light not planning to do an overnight hike so we'll see how it goes enjoy it men of Wilmington right behind us up and close also there's something up there or down there actually don't really know what it is it's made of uh, concrete cement looks like it's to hold some water don't know who for because it looks quite modern but here's the long man of Wilmington seven meters high the equivalent of almost 40 men Yes, I am reading off the paper. Now, I don't know by heart. <laughs> As the earliest known reference to the long man suggests that the original figure was, was a marking in the grass rather than a solid line. During the Victorian period, the shape was marked with yellow bricks, more recently replaced with concrete blocks. But again, no one knows who actually done it and why. We're gonna go all the way up there and here's the view of Eastbourne down below it's not actually Eastbourne Eastbourne on the other side of the hill but it's a nice valley it's a really nice valley if you guys enjoy the content and if you guys want to follow her she posts really short videos on TikTok her link is down in the description below have a look give her a follow watch some of her TikToks. It's not really my thing, but she does it. And they are quite nice. So I would definitely recommend. Let's keep moving. So, <laughs> so we're still going, but we have reached 72 subscribers. I think it's 72 or 71, which is a great feat. I thank everyone who subscribed to our channel Love you guys. Thank you for being here with us. It means that the content that we make is interesting to some of you and we really like that. We are new to hiking for you guys that are new to the channel. That's the other half and I'm your common explorer and you guys are hoof hikers. So we do at the moment mostly short hikes I think the longest hike we've done is about 22, 24 kilometers. Yeah. I'll put the miles up on the screen for you guys that use miles. We tend to do half a day or a day hike. We do stop a lot. We do record a lot. 
so it normally takes a lot longer than what it should do but we do two formats of videos obviously this is one of them this is new to us it's us having a chit chat talking about it and uh, me not knowing anything about where we are nor the other half <laughs> and if you don't want to hear me talking that's fine we're not offended by it there is another video that it's just the views it's just the shots a lot of drone shots some of the GoPro footage and some music much much shorter than the talking one but whichever one you like the best hope you enjoy it we've done one long trip one overnight camp which was in Wales we both liked loved it actually it was amazing was that amazing? It was absolutely I'm speechless. Okay. She's out of breath. She's not <laughs> speechless. Breath, <laughs> She's always out of breath. Going up the hill. <laughs> Going up. We love hills. If you guys don't know us. This is the sort of thing we want to share with you guys. And also, if you guys do enjoy what we do, don't forget subscribe to our channel help us grow help us be more active i think the more we do the more subscribers we get i mean we still like to hike but it does give us an incentive it is really nice and rewarding when what we do is shared and liked by you guys so yeah up the hill always no gators shorts but at least it's sunny don't laugh why is she laughing but yeah let's go guys let's keep on tracking so if you guys are interested on this hike and you want to know how to get here i'll say we drove here there's a nice car park it appears to be free of charge we couldn't really understand the car park, could we? So, it's a maximum of 23 hours stay. But then there's a line that says, park and return within three hours. So, it's either gonna be 60 pounds for us to park there, as the result of a fine, or it'll be free. But either way, there's a car park down the bottom of this hill. And so far, the ups and downs have been quite nice and quite easy. The views, they're pretty, they're really pretty. And bike on your left. <laughs> Don't want to get run over by bikes, so be careful with bikes. Uh, so now we're going down the hill. <laughs> which is really scary so if you guys do see any bikes behind us please give us a shout if you guys know anything more about this hike that we don't because we don't we were clueless all we're doing is going out on the weekend or when we're off trying to enjoy and trying to show to you guys some of these really pretty really nice places so if you guys do know anything more please leave us a comment down below if you guys know about the long man of Wilmington or the horse that we're about to see that I'll get the name before we get there yeah let us know so so far easy let's go keeps doing that every time every time I'm recording she's hiding from the camera but I always try to get her on the picture we are still a little bit camera shy so there's people watching there's people looking but here we are filming recording this for you guys so or shame <laughs> it's all for you so I hope you enjoy it. You better enjoy it leave a like 
<laughs> we can see the sea just somewhere there. Probably get it wrong, I can't see it myself. But the sea is just on the other side. And just on the other side of this hill here to our left is Seven Sisters. A bit further away, there's a forest in between, but Seven Sisters is just on the other side. So you could do it in one day, in one go, but we're doing half and half. We've done Seven Sisters, like I said, watch that video, it's great. Now because we've made it, it's worth it to see. It's definitely worth to see. So yeah, let's keep on going. Live update for you guys. <laughs> she says she's not very happy because we are going down the hill. We've been going down the hill for what, 10, 15 minutes? So far, it's great for me. I love it. <laughs> Are you gonna cry soon? I'm gonna cry soon. <laughs> but just to recap as well for you guys. So since our last hike in Wales, where we got absolutely soaked and drenched, I have been doing a lot of research on waterproof gear and to be quite honest between I would say the both of us I make really good financial decisions <laughs> so that laugh means that I'm right because I always make good executive decisions so we still haven't got weatherproof gear but we are looking into it. We have a few things saved in the basket, or I do. She doesn't really care, but she doesn't want to get wet. So it'll be down to me to make a good financial decision, as I always do, to get us some weatherproof, some rainproof gear. So if you guys know a little bit more than us, which you probably do, give us a call recommendation on the comments down below let us know what you normally wear and I will have a look and if you guys want to know what kind of gear we amateurs use by all means uh, hopefully one day I will make a video of all the gear that we have so yeah so far really nice all down the hill full of breath even she is full of breath. So yeah, let's keep going down the hill and then we'll cry when we go up the hill. See you guys there. Right behind us, just to my right on that side there, that's the Cuckmere. I'm not really sure if it's a river. Cuckmere Canal, Cuckmere River. Uh, nice body of water, I don't know. So it starts here. What starts here? I mean, we're catching this side here, which is quite small. That N7 Sisters over on that side, it widens really, really massively. And there's a lot of paddle boarding happening there. We've been there once. Yeah, we did. So, yeah, it was really nice. She says, yeah, I was there with you. <laughs> I wasn't there with anyone else. <laughs> yes, we were there together. But yeah, need to check that. <laughs> but yeah, Kakmir River and the horse. I have binged. Yes, not Googled, I've used Bing. Bing is a great search service. So I binged and found out that it's called Littlington. I will never say that right, but I'll put the name on the screen once we get to it. So yeah, let's keep going.
We are still walk around Cookmere River, canal, lake, reservoir, stream, sea. And we got some cousins. Well, not really cousins, distant relatives. <laughs> Maybe mine. But here's some of the wildlife. So yeah, some of the wildlife of Eastbourne. I hope there's Eastbourne as well. Me, for definite, we're in the UK. But yeah, there they are. If you guys want to see some pictures, link in the description, Facebook, Instagram, check it out. I'm gonna get some shots of these cows i we'll see you guys over by the uh, the horse. And not a normal horse, the stone horse. You'll see what I'm talking about. On second thought, I don't think there were cows. <laughs> I've gone to check. I think they only have one tit. <laughs> Very strange, but <laughs> there was a bunch of them. So, hope you guys like the pictures. Let's keep going. So, that. It's a little picnic spot. We have been here for a little while. Now I've just realized on the map that, see if I bring it back just a bit, somewhere there is the horse of Lillington. Believe me, I'll never get that right. Stop laughing. So that's the horse of whatever the name is on the screen. Obviously, we can't see it from here, apart from a very, very tiny little image. So what I have done is have a look at these. Now this horse, again, don't have a lot of history, but it is quite a big horse. And we've been there before. We've been just across from that horse on our other video. And it's quite a popular place. It's absolutely beautiful. It's not stunning. I think this is one of those hikes that we said it was about to come. Uh, it is a beautiful hike. It's not stunning, but it is really, really beautiful. And we have a bridge. Not far from us here as well. So if we get back to me, there's a horse somewhere there. I can't really see on the screen. I'm trying to, but very tiny the screen. But there it is. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And there's the river. Stunning. Our fears have come true. Nice medium sized incline. I'm out of breath. How you doing back there? Jesus, badly. <laughs> It was bound to happen. Perhaps it was a good thing that we had a little picnic. What did you have? Uh, I've done some uh, chicken bites, some water. I think that's it. So she had some. <laughs> Bites. We had some chicken. We had some pistachios. And a uh, some sort of breakfast bar. And some water. So yeah, good call. Again, another good executive decision. See, a winning. So I send this incline. And uh, see you guys on the other side. We're back on the field. Just realized we've been here before on this exact field. And I remember I took it the wrong way. I went the wrong way. We did. I mean, our lad, we ended up going the wrong way. But since we're up here, we've just realized, look at that. That is the horse of Lillington. 
or Lullington, Lullington. <laughs> she got it right. But yeah, that's the horse. Quite a big horse. I'll have to do some Bing search to find out a little bit about the history. And perhaps I'll put it on the description. So yeah, there's the horse. It's absolutely beautiful. Not stunning. But yeah. yeah. That's great. And this field was it last year that we were up here? Yeah. Yeah, so this field was filled. Uh, I assume it would have been the same thing this year. Uh, we just came in a different month. So I think everything is already being harvested. Yeah, let's go. So we've just gone through both fields. That. I seem to know what it is. It is hay. They were harvesting hay. <laughs> See? Smart. Now we're going to come across, memory serves me right, a path and some stairs and also... That's what it was here. Yeah. So we've come across this place. I don't really know what it is. It says private, obviously somebody's residence but uh it's an interesting place so we're coming across an infamous set of steps that we absolutely detested <laughs> uh, this time we are going left so we're actually going to miss everything <laughs> there's a forest up there it's also on our last video or not last video but on the video that we've been here before. So yeah, let's see. Those steps there, yeah. They go on for absolutely ever. And it's quite pretty up there. It is really pretty. But let's keep going. Not long to go, not long to go. Hopefully we haven't got a parking ticket. I <laughs> forgot about that. <laughs> if we did, yeah, I suppose I'm gonna have to pay, but as a reward, I'll probably buy myself a jacket. Yeah, uh, probably didn't bode well. But let's see, let's see what happens. See you guys further ahead. So, as we're passing this field here, I was speaking to the other half. I found it very interesting. This is completely site now, it's got nothing to do with hiking. But I had a thought. I mean, that machine, not the tractor, but the machine being pulled behind, that's an engineering feat. Uh, honestly, someone at some point decided to, I don't know, maybe at the pub. <laughs> I have an idea. How about I make a machine that collects the hay or harvests the hay? and makes cubes out of it. I mean, it must have been a crazy idea. It's, it's a fantastic idea, so ingenious. And it looks really simple, but I guarantee you, it's probably really complicated. I know nothing about farm machinery. I know that I struggle to make a cheese bowl, and that's using both hands and just some cheese. That machine harvests the hay or collects the hay and mix cubes. They're not cubes, they're big rectangle pieces, but nonetheless, that's really amazing. Hello. 
That was one of my cousins coming to say hello. I'm really sorry sheep, we're going to wake all of them up, they're chilling on the shade and I mean unless I go up the hill this is the only path so sorry buddies If I was to be a sheep, I'd be him. That's me there. That's everyone else there. For someone who's posting video on YouTube, I can't be quite antisocial. But I like to be on my own. I like to be with the other half. I like to be out in the field. In the nature. nature. I was going to say in the wild, but it's not really the wild, is it? But it's outdoors. Yeah, we enjoy this. So far, it's been, let's say, a really easy hike. We had two, maybe three hills. But other than that, just flat. Just flat. Yeah. So we'll see what the end has for us. Because we did park or the long man of Wilmington is up on a hill. So we'll see, we'll see how that goes. In the meantime, hope you guys are enjoying it. Let's go. Just realized that I sweat quite a lot on my forehead. So because this video is in 4K, you guys get to see all of my sweat in the highest definition possible. I forgot my towel, but yeah, it's maybe the forehead. I know it means something. Uh, I don't know what it means, but I know it means something. <laughs> it does not look good. I see a hill. Let's have a look on the map. Almost. We're going left. There's a hill up there. Again? <laughs> Luckily, two for two. Good. We are going left. There's still a hill up there, but it doesn't look as bad as the other one. But we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, it looks all right. Yeah. Let's get up this hill, incline. Yeah, nearly back, nearly back. Let's crack on with it. Come on, let's do it. Let's do it. I've gotta say, it's not terrible. I think the maximum we got was 16% gradient. But now it's fluctuating between 8 and 12. We are moving. I mean, slowly but surely. Just like two old goats. Mm -hmm. We are just hoofing along with the hopes to get to wherever we're going. But yeah, is it the worst part of the hike? Probably not, because we are warm. Our body is nice and warm, so it's not that difficult. But we are just two average folks. I wish we were marathon runners, triathlon runners. This is definitely not the Everest. Not gymnasiums either. But uh, 
yeah. Things a flat bit here. Have a look at the map. I think we got a quarter of the way left. Yeah. Not bad, not bad. There we go. I'm gonna try to wipe as much sweat from my face as I can. <laughs> but all that way up. Was it worth it? 100% it was worth it. Hey, look at that at the back. That was definitely worth it. Simply amazing. It's really, really pretty. Yeah. So this is the southeast water. Habitat restoration work in Friston Forest and Lovington Health. Now, I don't know all that by heart. I'm reading that. But yeah, it looks amazing. Stunning. Beautiful. Beautiful. Get off the phone. That's amazing. Why are you always trying to get away from the camera? Look at that! That is amazing! That! It's not stunning. Breathtaking. Breathtaking. Amazing. But yeah, we are not far off now. I think it's the, uh, the last leg of our hike. I think there's only two kilometers left. So we're just going over down the hill. So if we turn the camera around, we're gonna see where we came from. And I believe the Longman of Wilmington is just to our left here. But I think it's fenced off. We'll have a look. There. Just down there. It's where we started. So yeah, let's take this uh, nice smooth walk down. See you guys down at the bottom. If we're not able to see the Longman of Wilmington any closer, we'll see you guys down at the bottom. Otherwise, see you guys in a moment. We are back. We are done. Finished. Back at the car park. Guys, if you did enjoy this video, Remember, share with your friends, family, leave us a like, subscribe, share the channel, share the videos. And if you guys want to follow us on other social media platforms, all the links are in the description below. If you guys want to follow her on TikTok, it's also in the description below. So, thank you very much.